In this video, I'll be going over installing PHP 5.5, which is a web programming language. In addition to that, I will also go over how to hook it into a web server called Apache 2. I've done this video before, but the newer version of uh, PHP has it uh, uses a different compiler, so the way that you go about doing it is ever so slightly different, causing me to redo this video again, which is, which is okay. Um, so in a web browser, what you'll do is head on out to php.net. Click on the downloads link. The current version of PHP is 5.5.5 and it's the current stable version. Click on the Windows binaries and source link for the current version of PHP. You'll want to download the thread safe version of PHP, locate the PHP 5.5 section, the one that says VC11X386 thread safe, right click on the zip file and save it out to your desktop, which I have already done. I should mention that they have unstable or experimental versions of the 64-bit version of uh, the Windows PHP executable, but I, I won't be doing that. I'll just be doing the 32-bit version. After that saved out to your desktop, locate the uh, PHP. This is the thread-safe version. So double click on that in uh, file decompressor, which I'm using 7-zip. And in here, I'll just press uh, control A to select all the files, click on the extract button, and I'll extract this to C colon backslash PHP. And I'll press the OK button. Close out the, uh, the file decompressor window. And I'll browse to my PHP folder. Locate the line that says PHP INI development. Create a copy of that and paste it into the same directory. Right click, choose rename, and I'll rename it to be php.ini. It'll give you a warning. And yes, I do want to change it. Open up php.ini in your favorite text editor. Search for the word underscore dir and click on find. And just below the user dir, dir section is, a win, is an extension directory directive. And they have one for Unix and another one for Windows. And for the on, on the one that says on Windows, what I'll do is I'll locate the line where it says extension dir is equal to ext, and I'll remove the semicolon at the beginning, which essentially uncomments that line and makes that statement active. Save this file. Now, if I wanted to uh, make PHP accessible from the command line, and so I can just type in PHP, what I would do is click on the Start menu and uh, locate Computer, right-click on that, choose Properties, choose Advanced System Settings, click on the Environment Variables button, and the System Variables section, locate the line that says Path, click on Edit, go to the end of the Variable Value field, if a semicolon isn't already in, uh, at the end of the line, go ahead and add one and type in C colon backslash PHP, click OK, click OK again, and finally click OK one more time on the system properties window. And then now I can close out the system settings window. And if I open up a command line by typing in start and typing in CMD, I can type in PHP dash V, press enter, and it tells me that I'm running PHP 5.5.5, and this is the command line version. Which is good, but I ultimately want to hook it into the Apache 2 web server, and I'll go ahead and uh, do that now. 
In the PHP directory, there's an install txt file. Open that up in a, a text editor and look for the word Apache module. This is the right section. Well, this is a similar sounding section, but the problem is it's for Apache version one. I'm using Apache uh, two. So keep looking, and there we are, installing as an Apache 2 module. Locate the lines where it says low module PHP underscore module. And I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, copy these lines where it has a load module statement, add type, and a PHP INI directory. I'll copy those. I'll browse to my Apache 2.4 directory, which I've installed in Apache 24. Double click on the conf directory. And I'll edit httpd.conf in uh, my favorite text editor. And I'll look for a line that says load module. At the end of the load module section, I'll go ahead and paste the contents, telling it to load the PHP 5 module, associate the PHP extension with the PHP uh, module, and this is a reference to where PHP INI is located at. Now there's one small problem, is that the PHP 5 Apache 2 DLL file doesn't exist. If I take a closer look at the PHP directory, it's actually called PHP5 Apache 2 underscore 4 dot DLL. Going back to the web server configuration, after the 2, I'll add in a underscore 4. Well, in the, uh, in the Apache web server configuration file, do another search for index dot html at the end of the directory index uh, directory uh, add in a space and type in index dot php and save this so now you can save the apache uh, web server configuration file in the apache monitor i'll go ahead and open that up click on restart Now, now, to test it, to make sure it's it's working, one thing I could do is go back to the little website folder that I created in the in the previous video for a, as, as a test. I called it my website. I'll create a new file, and I'll call it phpinfo.php. I'll open it up in a text editor, and in here I'll put in less than question mark PHP that tells uh, PHP that we're actually writing PHP instructions and I'll give it the statement PHP info and all that does is print out some diagnostic information. So if I go to my website.local domain forward slash PHP info dot PHP it tells me that I'm running PHP version 5.5.5, which shows that it's up and running. Um, and I think that's pretty much about it. I can also rename index.html to uh, index.php. And I could it'd probably be good if I actually put a PHP instruction in here too. Um, I'll go ahead and edit the index.php file, and in here I'll just include a PHP instruction that says, hello, this is from PHP, just to make sure that that works. And I'll save index.php. And I'll just change the website URL to mywebsite.localdomain and press enter. So it says, this is a test web page. Hello, this is from PHP. So it's up and running. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.